Hey folks, it's I always throwing back with some more World of Tanks. Uh, so as you can see, this is iRush in the, well, I'm not going to say brand new because it used to be here and then it, the returning T50-2, um, this is a tier 7 game on province and we're going to have a little bit of a different recording than normal. Um, this game is going to go long. Um, so, I, I, I mean, I, I'm obviously you guys can tell that from the video link. I'm going to speed this up any chance I get to to make this game move at a faster pace, I will. Because otherwise we're going to be here forever. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I don't have that much time. Also, if I look tired or I yawn, I'm sorry. It is before 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, and this is the only time I'm going to have to record. And then I gotta get some more sleep, and then I gotta record another game, and then I get to get some more sleep, and then I gotta record another game. So that's gonna be the way my morning goes. Um, or you guys aren't gonna have many games on the week of Christmas. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry if I look a bit tired. I am. So he's trying to get shots into this OI without revealing his position, but I don't think he's going to be able to unless he tilts out and, and heads out to his, um, right there. <laughs> I for, forgot. Now, um, if he zooms in again for a second, I will show you something. No, nope, apparently he's not going to. Um, oh, look, a Black Prince. We can shoot the Black Prince. Or we can just get some spying damage. So if he's not actually going to be shooting, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Um, it looks like he's not actually going to be firing from this location. Uh, it, it does occur to me that there is no one else left on his team over here. So he is just getting a ton of spying damage. And um, <laughs> well, he can't shoot anything. Otherwise, they'll come and kill him. Um, so if he doesn't shoot anything, then they just think they've been spotted from somewhere else, and they don't look up here. And that's really, I mean, as long as nobody finds you when you're a scout tank and you're hiding, that's really like the ultimate goal, right? Our team is having some troubles dealing with stuff on the other side of the map, but of course then we go ahead and light some stuff, and now they're killing it. Well, that's you. Anyway, I guess artillery is still actually technically hitting these guys, even after they've been unlit by us. But, um, we're not getting that spotting damage. We got that spotting damage, though. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> uh, SU under Y is apparently just going to park up here and wait for our artillery to reload, and then it's, I have no doubt it's going to peg him. Um, Hellcat is trying to, but, but nope, M12 just takes out the SU, and now there's only a couple of big heavy tanks wandering around here somewhere. They don't really seem to know where to go, so they're just going to wander around until we light them so that our, our tow air can shoot them. That's not us lighting that guy, though, so we're not going to get any of that spying experience. That must be the Hellcat with Binox, most likely. Um, is is how I'd figure that to be. Uh, there's two OIs still one around here, so he can't move too far. Uh, looks like he's not actually going to move at all, so we're going to crank this up to four times speed uh, because <laughs> we don't have all day. Oh, now, ooh, he has found the um, Conquer gun carrier. And he is quickly eliminating this poor thing. Uh, the Conqueror is, has little choice in the matter. Oh, as the OI misses us. Now there is two of them, don't forget. So it's possible for one of them to circle us. While the second one uh, distracts us. But <laughs> Irish is having none of it. And just bails on the whole operation. Now that they've found his hiding spot. There's no real reason he should stay there. And he just gets on out. Uh, we're going to speed it. Ooh, Lord. I did not expect him to uh, take that jump off that cliff. That was, oops. 
and I didn't expect to get up to eight times speed either. Um, unfortunately, um, <laughs> nothing really came of that. I guess, fortunately, the jump off the cliff didn't kill us. Um, and I expected him to actually go after the, the T-50-2 here. But it looks like he's not going to. Um, and we are losing tanks at an alarming pace, though. We're down to only two artillery left, which, I mean, it's fine. But the Jackson, um, ourselves, and a 45 TP are the only things left between the enemy and, you know, our destruction, more or less. And we no longer have a Jackson. Because they just got lit up by the T-50 issue. And they lit up by the OI. Now with this, um... <laughs> T... <laughs> T-34A5 could wander out of cover. That'd be really appreciated. Apparently our team has decided that it's our fault that they've been dying in dumb spots. Um, and so we have to go hunt down the enemy T-50-2. Because, you know, we're in a T-50-2. So obviously this means that we can we can do this job really effectively. Um, I don't think that's the case. But, I mean, obviously we're going to find out. Uh, so apparently t 50 2 isn't where we all expect him to be. He's not on the road. Um, and honestly, I'm kind of glad to know he's not. It's it's good to know when you're against a half decent scale player. Not that he's, you know, so alive to talk about it because he just drove headfirst into a 45 TP. Who <laughs> was like, mm, no. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to kick the video, video back up into fast forward while we wait for an enemy challenger to appear. The destruction you can hear, by the way, is the 45 TP wandering around trying to figure out which way he should go. Uh, we're not going to pen the OA from the front, but the T-34A5, uh, that we can definitely pen, assuming we can see him. Which I don't know if we can. Oh, we can see him, though. I I didn't know you could do that. I don't know if <laughs> I rush knew you could do that before he went ahead and did that. I mean, one shot into the KV2. He's gonna have to put a bunch more than that though. KV2 does not have the derp gun on. He's got the long gun. That is the T150's gun. Unfortunately, that is even worse news than a KV2 with a derp gun for a scout tank. Um, except we burned him to death, so... Ha <laughs> ha! Right? But, um... The, the problem with the him having the, the T-50's gun... T-150, sorry. Is that, um... He was, his reload was fast enough that he could have pegged us twice before we got into range to kill him. Uh, whereas if he had the derp gun and he fired, most likely he would have missed if firing clutch like that. Uh, unless he had... You know, sent enough people to the Gulag recently that uh, he could have got the hand of Solon to guide the shell. Um, it, and if he missed, then it would have given us you know a whole 20 seconds to get in close and start dealing some damage and get under his gun and stuff. But the T-150's gun reloads a lot faster than that. The uh, the OI though jumping behind the houses. For a second there, I thought he was trapped, but I don't. I don't actually think he's trapped at all. Um, it was interesting to see an OI launch itself off of a cliff, though. <laughs> That's not something you see every day. So now there's only two enemies that can really do anything about us, and one of them is right down here somewhere. And he's starting to cap, but I mean, we have bushes up here. We can bush mechanic him if we want to. Um, However, we can also sit back and let the Artie do work, which obviously is what iRush's plan is, which is good because there's only two minutes left on this game. You gotta, you gotta wrap it up now if you're gonna wrap it up. Okay, that is that. We're gonna fast forward a little bit because, again, we're approaching the nine minute mark or ten minute mark. Sorry, on this recording, and um, whoa. That shot would not have killed us, but it would have come darn close to killing us. Oh, that's a rock, I rush. 
You gotta <laughs> You can't drive through those. You gotta watch where you're going. <laughs> so enemy artillery knows where he is. Thankfully our artillery is on the ball and that shell drops exactly when and where we need it to do so in order to ensure that we get to walk away from this. Oh, Hummel beside behind us. Splashes us, doesn't hit us though. Thank the Lord for that because <laughs> a heart attack waiting to happen right there. There we go. Hummel was already aimed in on the, our location when we popped out. So he pulled the trigger almost immediately. Of course, the W GW is also aimed in on our location. And he also pulls the, the trigger almost as soon as we get lit. Unfortunately for him, that was a much a less likelihood of hitting that versus that Hummel who had us point blank on a slope where we, we just couldn't accelerate very fast and then give him direction. Um, that Hummel had us dead to rights. Unfortunately for him, he missed. And so, so glad for us. Um, whether this turns into a brother's arms, we'll have to find out in a second. Um, Ace Tanker, Pascucci, and Patrol Duty. It's been a long game, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. Needless to say, with that, that fire on the KV-2, uh, and the Hummel missing, and of course the uh, T-34A5M bouncing, this would have been a much, much different game. Um, but it was quite enjoyable the way it was. That T-50-2 is a 200 IQ player. Wow, okay, and the Type 64 that we never saw, who didn't, apparently didn't do anything, also put it up together. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, 1400 base experience for this. Completely worth it, in my opinion. I still, I didn't know about that move where you can dance around the cottage and by going out on that ledge. Um, but of course, now we're all going to want to try it, right? Um, like, okay, almost 3000 damage by spotting. And uh, he, he didn't do too much sitting around at the end of that game once he realized he was going to have to carry if he wanted to win. But I wanted to cut this video short before we hit 15 minutes, so thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is Iowa Ether out.